this is a bit of a long story, but what had happened, like, don't know why they did this. I mean, they're full grown adults with a family. I got three siblings, what? Off of TikTok, I can pay my parents off for the Rolls Royce because I owed them like, I don't know, 11,000. At first I did the math and I thought it was way more than you actually could. Um, and that was really, that was pretty tough on our relationship, but. Yeah, and so, so when did you start? Because I know you've, you've mentioned this in, in, in other TikToks. Um, you took inspiration from that guy from TikTok, Daniel. Yeah. And so Daniel so when did you, Daniel Matt, and so yeah, exactly. So when did you start going, right, his, his content's doing well? Because clearly you've already looked at other people's contents that's doing well. So it's, I guess I guess it's a natural progression to see that. And it's something that I wanted to ask you because I've thought about doing it as well, that I just don't have the confidence if I'm being completely honest. So I guess what, yeah. what gives you the idea to just go up to people? Do you, do you ask them beforehand? Or is it literally you going up to them with a the camera in their face going, what are you driving? Is it, is it simple as that? Yeah. So what happened with that is I, I had that Instagram account, right? And then it was about 2020. The account had got a lot of followers over those four years. I got like 350,000 followers. And, but I kind of, they, they changed the algorithm and then all of a sudden it started tanking. <laughs> and then every time I posted, I would lose followers. And so I got a little bit depressed and I stopped posting and three times a day, it went down to like once a day, then once a week. And then eventually it would be like, I don't even know, once every two weeks. Yeah. And I kind of didn't know what to do. And then TikTok came out. And at first I was like, nah. And then about summer 2020, uh, you know, everyone's in COVID. And I was like, well, I'll get on TikTok. Might as well. It's really popular. Everyone's on it. So I just started posting the first couple videos were just edits I made of videos I had in the past. And then it did okay. And what had happened, this is a bit of a long story, but what had happened like in 2019 in August, I had somehow out of nowhere, we, we sort of went on a family holiday in the summer and then came back to America. And my family was looking for a new car because our old Volvo XC90, the transmission had gone on it basically. Mm. And I watched Rocket Man in the summer and I saw the Rolls Royce Silver Shadow in Rocket Man, the gold one when he goes to his dad's house. And I was like, that's so cool. Didn't think anything of it. A few months, two months later, my family's looking for a car. And I'm like, what if we just, you know, I always want them to get a cool car. What if yeah. we got like a silver shadow, <laughs> which is like <laughs> just about the worst idea you could ever have. It's terrible. I don't know why on earth it happened or why they went along with it, but we, they were kind of like, nah, but they were open to it. My mom actually was the one who found this car in California for sale. It was mm. six and a half thousand and it was broken. We were like, okay, maybe we'll buy this car and then we'll fix it up. We'll budget, you know, another 5,000 to fix it. Like what we would have spent maybe 11, 12 on a normal car. We'll just put onto this and then yeah. it'll be good to go, right? Uh, right? Classic Rolls Royce will be perfectly fine as a family car as our only daily driver. It'll be great. Why not? <laughs> and don't know why they did this. I mean, they're full grown adults with a family. I got three siblings. Why? why we decided to to do that basically i kept i was praying for like a month i was like you know lord please can my parents buy this car and it ended up happening and basically i was like i think it mostly happened because i was like i'll pay you back i'll pay yeah you know what i can and, and buy this car off of you in like a year and then you can buy another car for the family so they like took out a loan to buy this car um for like twelve thousand. And yeah. then I bought, or well, they bought it. We got it from California and then sent it to a shop because when we got off the truck, couldn't drive a mile. And so they fixed it up to the point where it was driving. And then it would, we'd drive it home. And almost every time we drove it home, something would break on the way home or the next day. And it just broke like that for a month or two. Then it got to winter and it started having a lot of white stuff coming out of the exhaust. And we were like, uh, this doesn't seem right no and ended up overheating and then long story short the mechanic was like it's a head gasket that's ten thousand dollars to fix which i think is a steep quote but i was like okay yeah. i'm gonna sell it so because my parents at this point we were driving around in a friend's like old junker chevy cavalier anyways i had this car so when i started making tiktok content because i I tried to sell it to Hoovy. He could, I couldn't sell the car basically. And my parents didn't want to sell it for like a $6,000 loss or more. 
So I was like, well, mom and dad, I, I mean, what do you want me to do? I'll just keep it. I don't want to sell it. You guys don't want to lose a lot of money. Let's just keep it. Yeah. So we ended up keeping it. Um, and that was really, that was pretty tough on our relationship, but it's a lot better now. It's, you know, it was kind of a few years ago and now they see sort of the, why it happened. My dad kind of always saw it. My mom at one point was like, this was the worst decision I ever made. Now she yeah. doesn't. Cause I started making content about that car on TikTok. Like here's my car. It's broken. Cause by the time I made TikTok content, the car had been broken for about six or seven months. It hadn't left the garage. It didn't yeah. drive any. And so I did that. It did okay. And some of the videos got like 30,000 views. And I was like, Oh, this is really cool. You know, that's, that's good. And I started getting a few followers and then I just made some random videos. And then I saw Daniel Mac making what you do for a living. And I was like, okay, you can get paid off TikTok because I just introduced the creator fund. I was like, you can get paid. At first I did the math and I thought it was way more than you actually could. And then I found yeah. out about a week later, it wasn't close. That it was like 10% of what I thought. But I was still like, if I can make enough money off of TikTok, I can pay my parents off for the Rolls Royce. Cause I owed them like, I don't know, 11,000. So if yeah. I can make that much, I can pay them off 350 bucks a month. And so I saw him and I was like, hmm, I can't copy him. I don't want to copy him. That's a bit cheap. So I was like, let me go to kids in my high school. I was always fascinated with how kids in high school, kids at a young age got a Ferrari or got even a BMW or even an old Mustang. And so I went up to kids in the parking lot. Just the first video ever was three of my friends randomly after school was a bit of a joke. And I was like, Hey, how'd you get this in high school? <laughs> and they were just laughing and they answered it. And I put them in a video and it got like 1.6 million views. Yeah. And it took about a week. And I remember one kid was like, if it gets a million views, I'm going to take you out to lunch. One of the kids in the video, it got a million views. We never ended up going out to lunch. I don't think, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> And I was like, wow, I'm gonna do this again. Yeah. <laughs> so I did it again and again and again. And I tried to get as many, like everyone in my school that had an even somewhat interesting car, it didn't have to be expensive. Um, you know, I think though I did like a Ford Focus at one point that was covered in spray paint. I did a, a Kia Soul. I remember one girl, I was like, why did you get this in high school? This girl I knew, because it was a Kia Soul. And I was like, this is a terrible car. Yeah. And then one kid in my area at a neighboring high school had a McLaren 570S, which is just, you know, we're in Missouri. Like that's mind blowing. Yeah. You don't even see the cars, let alone a kid having one. And so I was like, okay, mate, let's do a video. And he was like, yep. So we did a video and actually didn't do as well as the other videos. But I tried to find the craziest cars outside of my high school so in the whole city not just like i drove like 40 minutes for some high schools to go film cars and then kids started messaging me come to my high school come to my high school so those videos were actually filmed all over kansas city at lots of different high schools and i met some of my best friends by the kids that i filmed i did that for about a year and then i started being like I'm getting bored of this in a way. I'm getting, it's getting stale. I feel like how long can people be interested in this? Which I think was a bit of a, I didn't need to do that. I didn't need to like change it up. You know, you look at Daniel Mack, he's still doing what you do for a living. Still, it's yeah. been three years. I kind of, I'm probably pretty creative. And so I wasn't like, didn't want to keep doing the same thing. I like to keep adapting and changing and creating. So I was like, all right, I'll ask people what their dream car was, what their first car was, all, all age groups, not just high schoolers. And I moved into that. And then over time, I mean, if you look at my account, I moved into like going to dealerships and I did one where I was like, what does Ferrari drive to work? And that blew up. That got like 20 million views on Instagram, like across everything, like 60 million views. Mm. And it's still getting views. And that did insane. And I was like, well, that's a good format. So I just kind of kept improvising and adding on. Then I got a bit burnt out and I kind of was like, man, some of the videos aren't doing so well again. They're going back down in views. And I'd always wanted to do like news, automotive news. So I started doing like a green screen on TikTok where I just talk about what was happening. Yeah. And that pretty much, I did that up until like last month. And that brings me up to where I'm at today. 